Welcome, welcome. How's it going, people? Well, I set up a little altar this evening because I got um, some new decks and I'd like to introduce them. The Angels of Atlantis by Stuart Pierce and illustrated by Richard Crooks, I believe. Okay. It's brand new. I'm going to open this deck up this evening in front of you. And then I got this new deck, Names of Gods, 99 Names of Gods. And I'll explain to you the number nines when I open this deck up. And the Law of Attraction Tarot, How to Achieve Your Desires. And this is um, by, let's see. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. Oh, Mariana Roveda, artwork by Simone Gabrieli. I hope they're Italian. Ciao, baby. Okay, fabulous. And I do want to show you that a friend of mine attended the Palenque ceremony in uh, Mexico for the 1221 12 solstice the end of the cycle of the Mayan calendar and a very spiritual moment obviously but she brought me back some of this amber from Palenque so I have my little cauldron here burning and I'm gonna drop it in right now so we can attest to this beautiful scenario of opening up these angels of Atlantis deck okay now, I think the only other deck I ever opened up in front of any of uh, the YouTube was my Archangel Michael video that I dropped uh, on a full moon when I opened it up. But we're going to see what it's all about. And I'm going to do nine cards. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we select. And I figured, why not do this tonight? There's, um, you know... It's an oracle deck. It can't be that too much uh, to handle. So we'll open it up. And we have the little book here. So I definitely will be reading from the book because I have no clue what's going on. Okay. And here are the cards. Oh, yeah, they're tight. Oh, Oh boy, so let me just fan them a little bit. That's why I fan my cards, people. See, this is how you bring out the energy when you fan the cards. Okay, so just to respect the deck, I will put it back in here. And we have, oh, this beautiful. Mexican Palenque 1221 into the cycle of the Mayan calendar smoking in my house right now wonderful so the first card I see here is Gabriel balance we all need that my friends right wonderful Gabriel very beautiful but this is the back of the deck and I'll fan them again and, and this is how I mean I personally feel when you fan the cards this way you thumb stroke them this is how you, I gain energy from the cards I already know if they're in a good way or not alright but we're going to do nine cards they're a little tight still obviously see I can't slide them out so we're gonna start that deep breathing inhale exhale I'm gonna lay down the cards nine second deep breathe exhale slowly nine seconds and randomly I will lay out these cards and I uh, bathe my crystals today in sea salt, it's how the Native Americans do. 
and that's what I've done. So they're all cleansed and sea salt. And since they're cleansed now in the sea salt, at this full moon in Leo, I will charge them. Okay. But um, and I got some candles today, all wonderful. So let me put down the nine cards and see what delivers. Well, hello, little Lala. How are you? See, she's intrigued that I have a new deck out. My Lala is very intuitive, as all cats are. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. I can tell Lala likes the energy so far. Breathe, people. Inhale slowly, nine seconds. Final lay down. Okay, welcome Atlantis, angels of Atlantis to my home. Con mucho cariñito, with much love, let me begin this reading. Met Metatron, wisdom, beautiful. Oh my gosh, where's my Merkava right now, right? Metatron, beautiful. And I will, if you see, it's a circle here, and the Sphinx is underneath the wisdom of the Sphinx. So let me just lay the card down so I can look up Metatron, because again, this is my obviously first time working with this deck. And, um, I'm not sure. I'm assuming they're in alphabetical order, not positive. Let me see. I guess I need to look at the index because they are not in alphabetical order. Oh, look at that. Gabriel was the first card. That, you know, the card that was I just showed is the first one in the in the in the deck here, in the little book, the guidance book. Here we go, it is. Okay, now I get it. Metatron, the supernal teacher. Wow, there's a lot of reading here, people. So I will... Um, Hold on a second. Give me a moment. Okay. All right, here we go. Metatron, the supernal teacher, divine intelligence. Metatron, as a conduit of the divine, is speaking to you through your thoughts and feelings. This card asks you to notice and to follow your instinct and inspiration. By drawing this oracle, you are bestowed with the powerful presence of this teacher angel. Because you are a wonderful human being who can receive the frequency of this call. All genius arises from the source, and in this moment, you are receiving holy mana, which is in Hawaiian breath. Mana's breath in, in the Hawaiian language because your soul is a temple for the divine. 
Therefore, you may dispense the glory of the divine through each of your creations. Please rest in silence as you receive Metatron's teaching. And then it has mercy there. Mercy. The Oracle of Metatron beseeches you to explore ways of being merciful within yourself and in relation to fellow human beings and nature. Mercy is God-given and therefore channeled through the sovereign leader. It is then allowed to flourish through the garden of the meek. Therefore, if you harbor any negative issues such as anger, let go and live the life of your full power, your sovereignty, and express the implicit power of compassion. Be silent as you meditate on this oracle and Metatron will bring you inspiration and the miracles of this card. Miracles are changes of perception and Metatron wishes you to know that like the miracle of newborn life, you are bringing your creative force to the force. Excuse me, you are bringing your creative force to the fore. Do anticipate a miracle occurring for when we open ourselves to miracles, we relinquish our fear to God, to Metatron, who stands on the right hand of the divine. Therefore, open your mind to the possibility of any challenge you may have being lifted from your shoulders. And when you have let go, the source will give you with unexpected joy. Please chant hey, from the throat chakra to enhance Metatron's magic. Wonderful. Well, my friends, I might not be able to read every single card from everything, but I will select what I will read once I pick the card. How about that? Because if not, this will be an hour reading. Raziel, intuition. Woohoo! Love this. Ah, wonderful. My little Lala stepped in, so I know she's happy. Brazio. Oh, I just looked at Sandalfon in here. I love him. Okay, and quickly, or not quickly, with in divine order, Brazio, the divine mysteries. And it has dreams, faith, intuition, and retreat. I think I will read about the dreams for Raziel. Raziel, the divine mysteries, dreams. Your dreams are one of the most powerful oracles you access. And Raziel illustrates that message, that messages are filtering through your dream kingdom at present, which will help you with your next important life decision. Don't worry if you cannot remember your dreams as your unconscious has them in store for the higher self or ka to interpret. Try to keep a dream journal to develop the ability to read the metaphors of this part of your consciousness. Sit in silence to assist the interpretation of your consciousness. And we were talking about that, right, my friends? Keep a journal. Write in a journal. Keep it by your bedside if you want to wake up and write your dreams. But again, Raziel, the Divine Mysteries. It has dreams, faith, intuition, and retreat. But I'm going to just select one of each scenario. Next card. Planetary Cycle. Sandalphon. I just saw him in here, and I love Sandalphon. I did that first... Uh, uh, when I brought Luna out in her colorful glory, and Sandalphon was the um, angel I requested to finish that um, Moonlight Sonata video that I did. But here we go. Sandalphon. Sandalphon, the sacred guardian. And it reads, the titles of the main paragraphs are Evolution, Intention, Love, Planetary Cycles. And even though this is themed Planetary Cycles, I'm going to read the paragraph of Love. Beloved, 
You are a child of God and peace, lover at heart. This angelic oracle comes to you as a signal that new love or a renewed love is dawning for you. See life through the compassionate eyes of your guardian angel who emanates the Christos and perceive that love as being uncomprisingly beautiful. Look to the beauty that you will create for all in radiance of your love, which is a prism of the divine. Shifting your perspective to the angelic realm means you become a human angel and start to spark and start to spark miracles all around you. Chant Om Namah Shivaya to enliven in your peace. Isn't that lovely? And look at this planetary setup here, my friends. We just had that planetary alignment. Um, I think it was early December. Did a video on that one too. Wonderful, beautiful. So, so far, Metatron, Raziel, and Sandalphon have come out. Wonderful. Sandalphon again. Okay, see, I'm not familiar with this deck, my friends, but I dropped that, that moon rain to teach you, uh, to teach about the rainbow colors that Luna is about. She's all about, you know, crystals and... I'll, I'll just try to give a link to it at the end. I, my mind is absorbed in this deck right now, but Sandalphon has come out again. Evolution. Well, let me see. Now, where would this card be? Oh, I see now. Okay, each paragraph. Oh, okay, I understand now. Sandifon, there's different cards for each paragraph. So I should have read the planetary one, but I'm gaining the oomph of it at all. But I love the love paragraph, so we will continue with evolution. Sandifon, the sacred guardian, evolution. Sandalphon wants you to know that this is a light-filled time in your life. You are evolving by leaps and bounds. So this is a time to fill your heart with gratitude. And my friends, I want you to know I wake up every morning with an attitude of gratitude. And I believe everyone should. Also remember that if manifestation is not fully apparent just yet, Destiny will soon be knocking at your door, summoning you to reach new heights and new visions. Prepare by relinquishing anything of the past that stops you from emerging as the creative genius that you truly are. You will see 12 orbs emerging through the oracle, representing the universal resonance frequency. Therefore, see how 12 aspects of your own evolving nature are present at this time. Chant Om to channel the creative presence of the universe and to fully initiate the promise of future glory. And all these chants, um, now that I recognize Om, are about the chakras. You know, every chakra has its own distinct frequency and sound. So this Sandalphon's evolution chant is Om. Beautiful. And look at those orbs. Oh, I should drop a video about the pictures I have of orbs. Alrighty. Zafkio, surrender. Well, I must say I'm not familiar with this, this archangel at all. Keep breathing, people. Deep breathe, people. This is totally a deck about meditative scenarios. 
Get your body in alignment. Get your body in good posture, whether it's lying down or sitting up or standing. Posture yourselves right now. Hold in your abdomen. Hold in your gut, okay? Abdomen's tight in the respect of that you make, you know, the abdominal wall is the strength to your spinal column, people. Zafkio, the sacred lover. Surrender. The angels want you to know that you are holding too tightly to a part of your life and that you need to relinquish that hold. Trust that healing will swiftly come, for it always does. Resistance only intensifies the aspect of life that we are holding on to, whether this be a relationship, our career, or our health. Zafkiel wants you to surrender to heaven and let the angels carry you. This lover angel wants you to learn how you may release all notion of control, substituting such action with the yielding to the management of life. It is an illusion that any part of life may be controlled by predetermining the outcome. Let go and let God in! Exclamation point. Remember, everything that you surrender will be replaced by something better, thus allowing miracles to fully happen. Chant how to allow your groundedness to be vibrationally opened. Well, look at that. Beautiful. All right, my friends, let's continue. And look at the back of the deck. Very lovely. Sandalfon again. My goodness. That means something to me, my friends. No doubt. I will have to give a link to that video I dropped where I played the song Moonlight Sonata by um, Beethoven at the end. I love that video. Not many people got it, but um, maybe now with Sandalfon in, in the casa, in the house, we will uh, watch it once again. Intention, Sandalfon's intention, he's by the ocean. This person is by the ocean with this beautiful orb sun setting. You know, that's all my gig, people. Intention, drawing this card means Sandalfon is asking you to make a list of your expectations as these are the seeds of your intentions. Thought creates reality. And so by revealing this card, you are being asked to truly specify what you intend and to place a purpose to that intention. From clearly defined purpose, your experience is wrought. The angels want you to experience love, joy, and success. Therefore, visualize yourself and your intimate to ingra excuse me. Therefore, visualize yourself and your intimates in gratitude joyously experiencing the outcome of your intention. This is the kernel from the kernel, which is K-E-R-N-E-L, kernel from which abundance grows. Chant hi in praise of the joy that you feel. Beautiful. And every time I see a sunset, I'm going to chant hey, hey. Beautiful. Raziel, dreams. And we have this woman lying down with an orb in her hand as she rests into slumber sleep. And this super duper uh, orb on top there. Raziel, let's go to that page. Dreams. Raziel, the divine mysteries, dreams. Your dreams are one of the most powerful oracles you access. And Raziel il illustrates that messages are filtering through your dream kingdom at present, which will help you with your next important life decision. Don't worry if you cannot remember your dreams as your unconscious 
has them in store for the higher self or ka to interpret. Try to keep a dream journal to develop the ability to read the metaphors of this part of your consciousness. Sit in stillness to assist the interpretation of your consciousness. Beautiful. And because I already pulled Raziel out with the intuition card, but I read I read the first paragraph, I will deliver Raziel again with intuition. Intuition. And we have the person with the chakras in his lotus position, energizing up to the orb. Intuition. The oracle wishes you to turn inwards to your intuition. And they spelled intuition, I-N hyphen T-U-I-T-I-O-N. Intuition to the natural laws of your soul, which will guide you through the pulsations of eternal love. Trust this inner wisdom, O oh dear one, as it is the abundance of your spirit that speaks to you. Listen carefully to these inner murmurings, for when we are called to a teaching, a guide, a vision, a book, a piece of music, or a natural landscape, it means there is something powerful that will be communicated to us. Raziel is at one with your profound inner intelligence and wants you to awake to these whisperings. Sit in silence for the oracle proof of Raziel's love. And remember, we've talked about this, my friends, why we turn the technology off, why we get the chatter out of our heads so we can listen in silence, right? Beautiful. Only in silence do we gain the messages from the angels. Okay, I didn't want a long video, but here we go. Honey, oh, my Lord. Oh, and Kohola, look at the whale tail. Kohola wisdom with the ocean. I just dropped that Hawaiian oracle video. Oh, honey, oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love these cards already. My Lala showed up. I know she... She, when she shows up, that's like, okay, I like me. Honey, uh, willpower. Willpower. Honey, uh, willpower. Just like the great whales of the ocean's deep, swimming in Mother Earth. <laughs> willpower. Just like the great whales of the ocean's deep, Swimming in Mother Earth's tears, you are asked to bring willpower to your life in order to achieve the possibility of glory. The ancient souls of this beautiful sea creatures bring them to the flow of the universe. This reminds us that all is well in the divine matrix and to take heart from their example. If your will is not currently flowing for you, ask Haniel for loving assistance and you will feel the ruby ray force flooding through you, giving you such strength of purpose and healing that you will once again feel close to admit your magnificence in the world. Chant OM three times for greater clarity. OM, OM, OM. And people watch those videos when the whales are making their sounds of beauty. They got them all over the YouTube. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Let's finish with the last card. Shamel. Shamel, serenity, and look at that. Oh my goodness. You've got... Oh, I thought I had two cards attached here. No. Serenity, and we know what that castle is all about, how he built this for his beloved, the Taj Mahal. Right? I too, I do feel two cards here. Yes, I did. Look at this. I, I knew there were two cards. Uriel in abundance, my friends. Oh, you know what? I have to read them. I just have to. Okay. This is a long one, my friends, but these are angels that obviously have beautiful messages. Samuel, serenity. Here we go. 
serenity, Shamiel brings you peace of mind, one of the great angelic gifts. It is from the state of serenity that you can always feel the abundance of the source providing for you as it always will. Serenity means that we offer our challenges to God for the divine will always bring us a resolution in the form of the miraculous. Allow yourself to develop visionary faith in the ideal of serenity. Instead of blindly following the ego paragens that lead you to challenge, serenity is our natural state of mind when we yield to grace and so chant Rama Da Sa Sa Se So Hong to bring the elements of your being into the beauty of the serenity experience. Just like the exquisite energy of the Taj Mahal, our love for the serene and life will last forever. And to close with Uriel, abundance. Uriel, the divine companion, abundance. The tree of life brings abundant flow into your life at this very moment. And this is why you have singularly chosen Uriel's oracle of abundance. The core of all abundance is the source. When you totally believe in the flow of the divine nectar, the bounty of God is responding, responding in like measure. Develop the muscle of your faith by the positive regard of all your amazing achievements. Fill your life with gratitude for the abundance you are receiving. And speak, chant, I am infinitely abundant in spirit. I have plenty of wealth and my riches increase every day. The tree of life, my friends. Beautiful. Again, I get emotional, but I believe this was wonderful. God bless. Namaste. Love to everyone. And I am grateful for this deck that has appeared in my home with Metatron, Raziel, Sandalfon three times, Raziel twice, Haniel, Shamel, and Uriel. Learn your chakras, people. Learn the chants, okay? There's many videos on the YouTube who deliver fascinating meditative moments of, of the chant. I even, one of my favorites, I put on my favorite list, which is private to me. But anyway, take care of my friends. Peace, love, and joy. Love each other. Much more to come. Much more.